So, if you want to know who to blame for this, it's Ron Rattick. Ron sent me this idea, and I love having other people to blame because it absolves me of all guilt should it go wrong. Of course, I'm joking, hey? Ron's idea was brilliant, uh, and I asked him permission uh, to share it with everybody, make a video and share that idea. And he said, yeah, sure, Rob, knock yourself out. It's what I'm into as well, and I think it's great when we share ideas. Now, what Ron did was uh, build a wind turbine, but he made sails instead of fixed blades, and I thought it was great. So I had a look and a think about it, and I thought, well, if you're making it out of sails, surely it can all fold up and be put in a pack, and you could take it with you. You know, if you're going up a hill somewhere, you want to charge your phone, and you need a microgenerator, then really you could have something that would be relatively powerful, but pack up into a small size. And I like that idea, and that's because the sail structure, of course, will just fold down. So I had a look around to see something I had, see if there was something that I had that would do that, and I came across this. This is a music stand. So the music stand actually folds out to a nice neat little tripod and we can see it's kind of cute in how it's actually held. And there we go, we've got ourselves a stand. Now if we can hang a couple of sails on that, of course we're on a winner. We want that thing to turn, so clearly we need some kind of bearing. I've got this massive bearing that I came across ages ago. Forget where it's from, I think a large motor. And that fits nicely on there. So we need something on there then we need to be able to drop the top on, fit the sails, and hey presto, we'll have ourselves a collapsible wind turbine. So, let's make something that we can hang the sails on on here. What it's going to be is a circle. Okay, so I've made a couple of hundred mil wooden discs and you can see I've just sunk some bearings in there and I've got a hole in here and here and those mysterious holes become obvious later. This thing fits on there and then this thing needs to fit on there but that obviously is the old attachment and I need to turn that down a bit. Now it's turned down, it fits quite happily on that bearing there. So this will be on here, that'll go in there, that'll be pushed down, bloody blah, 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 we'll have two spinning discs. Let's do that. And that's the main body together. Now to open it up, you undo these and pull the thing out to the height that you wanted. And obviously the tripod comes undone. Then we need some stays coming out here and some sails. Now it's basically a Savonius type. So we're gonna have a little stay coming out here, a longer stay out there, and then we'll put the sails by bending it round those stays. So we need to put the stays in, make the sails, and then we can put the whole thing together. Okay, the sails. I'm gonna make the sails out of a couple of tea towels because I have a couple of tea towels and these things. These are glass fiber rods. Now they use these in uh, tent poles currently. Um, fishing rods, you'll get them as electricians pull throughs, so they're really easy to get hold of. Or you can just buy them as rods like this at the little local big box store. We're going to use those, feed them into the towel, and then when we pull that towel, we will get a sail shape. Okay, so there's all my bits made. That's the main bit. And these are the spars that the sails are going to attach to. There's the sails, which are my tea towels with some rod in them. And we've got a little bit of uprights there to hold the whole thing together. So that's it, collapsed. Now obviously it's a prototype, so it would be better if we could have little click buttons on the whole thing, but we don't. So we're going to put that together and see what it looks like and if it actually works. Okay, let's face it, you would not have expected that to work, would you? I mean, I basically didn't. I built it because I thought it was a bit of fun. But it turns out, when the wind blows, this back tea towel fills out like a sail. The wind comes round a little bit and actually helps that one fill out. Because you'd think that it would just be a, like a blanket in the wind. The whole thing would fall over, but it doesn't. It turns. Now, 
It's not complete, okay? We're just demonstrating, really, what can be done when you build a model and think outside the box a little bit. I mean, I know we haven't put anything on here to actually generate, okay? We could put a cog here, strap a motor there, and then we'd get generation. All we've done is the wind capture part of it, but it is a surprising <laughs> result just to turn it on, not to fall over. Loved it. I love doing it just for those reasons. Now, it was based on uh, something Ron sent me, but it's nowhere near what Ron sent. Ron sent a, a three sail design, which was very cool. I made this simple Savonius just because it amused the hell out of me to think about a T-Tal turbine. But I am going to rejig this now into Ron's design by moving one of these blades down to 120, other one to 120, and we'll put three cells on it and we'll see if that does any better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.